Hi guys, welcome back to Code It. Happy February. And today we're going to be celebrating Black History Month 2021. We're going to be talking about seven important Black computer scientists you probably don't know about, but definitely should know about. First up, we have Miss Melba Roy Mountain Newton. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but this lady was quite remarkable. She attended Howard University. She had two degrees in mathematics, a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, as well as a minor in physics. She worked for NASA. She was part of the group of NASA mathematicians literally called human computers. If you've seen that movie Hidden Figures, I believe it came out in 2016. She had a similar role to the women in that movie to where she literally did so much math by hand that she was, they were basically just called computers. So here's a news clipping talking about Mrs. Mountain. She was the head mathematician for Echo Satellites 1 and 2. And she was the head computer programmer and program production section chief at the Goddard Space Flight Center. Next up, we have John Henry Thompson. He invented the programming language Lingo. He is a former professor in the Interactive Telecommunications Program at the Tisch School for the Arts in New York. He implemented the Digital Jam 2.0 project in Jamaica. So he taught mobile app development as part of a larger course to students in Jamaica. He was awarded the Silver Musgrave Medal for Science in 2012 in Jamaica. Mark Dean, he led the design team for making a one gigahertz computer processing chip. He is the co-creator of the IBM personal computer, which is a really, really big deal when it came out and he helped create the color PC monitor. He is the first African-American to become an IBM fellow, which is a really big deal. It's one of the highest honors you can receive in the world of technology and computing. Evelyn Boyd Granville. She earned her PhD in mathematics from Yale in 1949. She's actually the second ever African-American woman to earn a PhD in mathematics. She wrote software programs for the IBM 650 computer and she worked on lots of projects for NASA's Apollo space program. She's been honored by the National Academy of Engineering and the National Academy of Sciences, as well as several other honors and awards. She was awarded the Wilbur Lucius Cross Medal, which is the highest honor any alumnus of Yale can receive. This is a quote from Ms. Granville. I always smile when I hear that women cannot excel in mathematics. We of course know that women can and do succeed in mathematics. Annie Easley, she's known for her prodigious mathematics skills as well as, as, well as her positive, upbeat attitude at the office and just in, in her life in general. She started also as a human computer like some of the other scientists we just discussed earlier, but she learned languages like Fortran and SOAP so she could help NASA program for the space race. She analyzed and implemented code that was used for early hybrid vehicles, so the predecessor to the Prius of today, and the Centaur upper stage rocket. Kimberly Bryant. She founded Black Girls Code, which teaches computer science concepts to Black girls who are underrepresented in the tech world. I apologize for this picture, by the way. It looked much better at a lower resolution. <laughs> She's named one of the 25 most influential African-Americans in technology by Business Insider. If you guys get a chance, you should really check out Black Girls Code. They're an amazing organization that's doing really great things to advance computer science and increase diversity in the whole tech world. Mark Regis Hanna, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's an electrical engineer and computer graphics designer. He co-founded Silicon Graphics and he was named the principal scientist there. He created programs for graphic design that you see now in Jurassic Park, Aladdin, oop, not Aladdin, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and the second Terminator. And then we have these three women, Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson. I didn't go into detail about them since I know a lot of us have seen the Hidden Figures movie. And I kind of wanted to cover computer scientists that we may not know as well. But again, these three women are absolutely remarkable. They did so much work for NASA and the whole space race in general. From left to right, you have Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson. Here are my sources for this video. Of course, like I said, there are lots more uh, Black people in tech that have really, really helped and done, made amazing contributions to the world of STEM. So definitely make some time to research, check that out. 
um, non-Black people, please um, try and educate yourself this Black History Month and every day really, but it's a continuous battle to end racism, make the world a more equal place. And we can at least start by acknowledging the contributions of all the people that came before us. Thank you guys for watching. Follow us on Instagram at code.i.t for updates and subscribe for more videos. Thanks guys.